Hey there. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh! Underneath the palm trees, you can leave your worries. Listen to the way you say you want to get. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Hey guys, what's up? It's Unofficial DIY, and welcome back to another video. Um, today I'm on the ground. You can probably tell. Today I'm doing a pack with me video. I'm really excited because I'm going to New York in a couple of days, and um, I just love watching pack with me videos for some reason so now you get to see me do it this is my beautiful rug oh well so without further ado let's get on with this video <laughs> Okay, so the first thing I do is put my pants in. These are packing cubes, by the way. They're really, really helpful. You can get them at Target or Amazon. They're super helpful. So in the big blue one, which you can see right here, I put like a pair of dressy pants, which are these. These are from Brandy Melville. And I also put a pair of ripped jeans. I just fold those like so, like in half and then over. And I thought those would be super cute. Then I have like three or four pairs of dress-up shorts and then like two jean shorts. I also pack a one skirt because I'm a skirt like queen. Like I'm not queen, but like I'm obsessed with skirts. <laughs> Here are my two other dress shorts. They're both from Forever 21. Then we have all my dresses. Since I'm seeing a lot of Broadway shows, I try to pack like kind of formal dresses and also a red jumpsuit which I got from which, hold on, which I got from Express and it's super cute. I just fold them like I don't know, I just fold them normally and then I fold them in half and I zip them up. To my favorite section of this the shirts and jackets section okay I probably packed too many shirts but let's be real we all do that so I have one tube top which I actually really love it's from a store called American Threads and then this sweaters from Macy's I fold it really weirdly I don't know why I fold it like this but it works um, yeah super cute I pack like some normal shirts not normal but comfortable shirts like that band shirt right there and then a white tank top and then a baseball tee. I try to create outfits with the shorts and the shirts. And, okay, this is really weird. I zip up jackets really weirdly. Um, not zip up, fold jackets. I'm zipping it up right now. Okay. If I can zip it up, hello? Okay. <laughs> so I make it like it's a long sleeve shirt, and then I fold it like a long sleeve shirt. Because I, I think I just couldn't figure out how to fold the jacket, so I just kind of like life hacked it. I packed a white denim skirt and a yellow sweatshirt. The yellow sweatshirt is from American Eagle. This would not zip up no matter how hard I tried so I just gave up and put it like I had to switch the sections like move that over so the um, shirts could be in the like zip up section. I usually use a gray packing cube that um, you're supposed to put this stuff in, but you know, I couldn't find it, so I just like randomly put it in there. I brought like five bras, um, I think eight pairs of, no, six pairs of underwear and eight pairs of socks. This is what I love to do with my socks. This list took me so long to learn how to do. I don't know why, but I'm pretty sure everyone knows how to do this. You just like fold the other one into it, and so your pairs of socks will not be lost. Beautiful, yes. I have a lot of pairs of invisible socks, so I just kind of tuck them into the front part because they won't do the same thing as the other socks would. And then I emptied out a little backpack and put that right there so I can carry it around. Now on the shoes. This is like, I don't know, this is super fun. No, nope, what am I saying? Um, I have a pair of flats, a pair of like heel boots, and then two pairs of sneakers. One of them, the pink fans I'm gonna wear on the plane. So then I just clip it up. Now, here's the part that literally stresses me out the most. It's the airplane bag, because this bag is huge, and, like, there's not enough pockets, but, like, 
I just have to like shove everything in. So in the front pocket, I put my laptop, which is for editing, so I can make videos for you guys. You can see Shane's book right there. I'm a Shane stan. Love him. Then I usually put my camera and lenses there, but you know, I'm filming with them, so I couldn't really like do that, you know. Put them at the bottom. And then my makeup bag, which I always need. And then a book. And I kind of do this randomly, so I put in my headphones, then like my sunglasses, my wallet. And I know you sh technically shouldn't do this, but like I kind of like shove all the chargers back there. I definitely should not do this. I should like fix that, but you know, whatever. And then since I have like allergies, I put my allergy stuff in there and I put my journal in the front pocket because it fits there. Yay! Um, okay, this is the makeup and toiletry section. Okay, the toiletries, they stress me out a lot because I can't find the tiny bottles. You'll see me rant about this. But my makeup bag, I have a tiny Tarte palette. Oh my god, wow, alliteration. Um, Vaseline for my eyebrows, eyelashes, and lips. You can actually grow your eyelashes with Vaseline. Dry shampoo from Lush. It's called No Drought. Um, uh, Oil-free moisturizer, sunscreen, milk, makeup, cooling water stick, uh, Aroma, I don't know how to say that, toner from Lush, it's really good. A hula bronzer, a little tart blush, and hello, a powder, which is a must. I always bring powder everywhere because I have oily combination skin. And then a Becca little highlighter in the shade Moonstone, which is like my go-to highlighter. A BB cream, Bobbi Brown BB cream, Gimme Brow, let's see, what else? Uh, Buxom, I don't know how to say that, Buxom, I don't know, Mascara, Glossier Lip Gloss, Concealer, which I've had for like literally five years, I should get a new one, I don't know, and then an Anastasia Lip Gloss in the shade Kristen or Kirsten, I don't know, and then Eyelash Curler, oh, we're not done, Beauty Blender, and Toothbrush Cover, yes. In the bottom compartment, I don't want to, I don't know if it's a compartment or a pocket, I have a powder brush. Uh, contour brush, which technically is like a face blending brush, whatever. Um, three eye, what's it? eyeshadow brushes. I <laughs> yes, three eyeshadow brushes. Um, I'm a professional. Um, and then another powder brush, which I can use for blush or whatever. Now we have to go on to my least favorite part, which is like the toothbrush, tooth toothpaste, body wash, shampoo, conditioner, which I have to put in those tiny little bottles which I have to go on the freaking wild goose chase to find and I still don't find them. That was my little rant, sorry. I have a toothbrush, which is a must. Always keep your teeth clean. I think everyone knows that. My face um, wash device, I don't know. I bring that everywhere, I cannot go anywhere without that. And then I have this gentle skin cleanser, it's like blueberry, but it's, I don't know what it is, but it's by the brand that makes like the watermelon mask, you know that one? Um, conditioner, because like you can also use it as shaving cream along with conditioner. And then this St. Ives body wash, I know you shouldn't use St. Ives because like animal cruelty, but I had it left over so I had to use it. Toothpaste, and then a bunch of hair ties that I will most likely lose by the end of the week, I know they will lose it. And then a disposable razor. Okay, so that was it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you also learned some new tricks. Um, comment down below um, if you're going on vacation this summer or um, I don't know, anything you want. Um, <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Love you all. Bye!